Do you consider yourself as a refugee? At the beginning, everybody considered me a refugee, so I considered myself a refugee. Then along comes Hitler. All of a sudden, everything changes. Even though it is like a, a harsh topic, because there are certain parts where it's very like brutal, but it's important for us to learn about that, just so we know what did happen and that it is happening now still, and that we should just make it stop because it's not right at all. The words that are written is surrounding this, this content, they're very powerful, and I think that when they read these, these things that occur throughout history, I think they've, uh, you know, their mind's eyes builds this, you know, the, these images, these lasting images in their heads, and they kind of just like, you know, they're in such disbelief and some shock, you know, what they, they read about, that it's just like embedded in their brain. And then the books are gonna be thrown in the fire because that's what mainly what the book burning was about, about everything intelligent, anything that gave you hope was thrown in the pit of fire because they didn't want you to believe and they didn't want you to imagine and a kind of way that they weren't believing in. Right here is Himmler, he's the one who actually set up and controlled the concentration camps. Don't judge somebody by who they are because basically they just judge the Jews as like, oh, they did it, so we should just blame them for it. I think we shouldn't do that. I think we should all accept each other. The issues today are re relevant, obviously, and that they're all aware of these things and, and they have passion for it. But, you know, in, in Nazi Germany, you know, if you stand up, you know, at times it's like you're going to be put down with extreme force, extreme prejudice. So I think that's the kind of thing that they try to focus on. You know, what could these people have done? You know, they were so limited. Think about the nurses, the doctors who refused to help Jews during a time of need. So Jewish and Muslims, I thought they were both different in many ways. But now throughout history, all the events repeating, like the genocide to Jews. Really, I think the most significant or, you know, I'd say uh, the most merit that I think it's kids to see is having the wider college students come, come to the school, visit the classroom, and for the kids to see how passionate they are around in that content. Draw some pictures that, you know, reflect about all the things that you've learned about the Holocaust, all the things that Margot's taught you or told you about her personal accounts, her story. What we could do is all of us have to come together because it can't just be one person trying to change the whole entire world. That's going to be hard for that one person. That one, even if that one person do it, that one person needs our support. We need to be behind that person, supporting them that yes, what he, this person is doing is right. So we all need to come together, figure out a plan, and then go out there and do it. We have to be brave and have the courage to do it because we can't just sit there and watch the other people do it like, oh, they can fix it, they can do this. No, we all have to be together and stand up together.